how is everybody doing today guys this is the time played and this is how to become better in multiplayer so first off this is hardcore team deathmatch in hijacked so um, I'm starting off with the SMR I think so I'm just gonna review and revise right here I just died one of the be things you do not want to do is rush right on the beginning you kinda wanna play the defensive mode and uh, just kinda let them come to you you don't wanna be camping really I mean you could but that's frowned upon as most of you probably already know um I probably just had a bad match right before this so I'm like trying to get my adrenaline pumping I'm trying to rush it happens to me a lot I'm sure it happens to some other people too but that's gonna cause you to die I mean you could have 25 deaths and 26 kills but is that better than having 10 kills with two deaths I mean you you guys make the decision on that I mean I would rather prefer to have 10 kills and two deaths but I mean that kind of makes the game kind of boring just because you're kind of moving at a slow pace but it's at a at a better pace if you kind of get what I'm saying so the things I'm doing right here is I'm kind of staying in this building um, looking in all of the exits kind of camping but not really just because I'm, I'm still moving around I'm not sitting in one spot uh, you kind of want to have UAV up uh, just so just so you could kind of see where your opponents are, but then you also have those people with ghosts So you have to watch out for that Now as you see I'm getting killed and I'm just fucking charging them I'm just trying to charge them just so I could I could get my kill You know you you see you get killed and you see where they died <coughs> You see where they died or you see where you died and you see where they are you're gonna want to go go charge them. You're gonna want to go go get them back. That's something you really don't want to do. You kind of want to play on the defense side, and uh, kind of let them come to you. You know, if you want to be, <coughs> if you want to be playing offense, and you want to just keep charging them and charging them and charging them, that that does work. But I mean, it depends on the player. If you're really good at this game. Or if not, if you're watching this video, most odds, you're probably not that great at this game. Now, this is one of my very first games. I think I'm like level 10 or 12 here. In multiplayer, I just recently started playing multiplayer, but I always knew, I mean, I'm above average of most players. I don't know if it's just me or I don't know if it's just what. Hardcore Team Deathmatch is probably something you, you would want to play. You just have to watch out for your teammates because you will kill your own teammates and you will get booted after a while three kills in a row right here guys um, I'm still kind of staying in this one room most of the opponents know where I'm at and I know I'm, I'm gonna be good enough to take them so that's kinda why I'm kinda just chilling in this one room as for perks uh, what you wanna have selected I believe I have hardline with uh, cold blooded and um, I maybe well, I don't remember I don't even think I had a third perk but um flag jacket uh, if you want if you flag jacket comes in handy or I don't even remember what perk this is but um the one that that keeps your concussion grenades and your flashbangs to a minimum where if you get flashbanged it's only for a couple seconds instead of lasting so long that's something I did realize in this game is the flashbangs and the EMP grenades and all that just lasts for such a long time I'm level 5 so I'm level 5 right now and I think I'm on the top leaderboard right now on uh, in this lobby the spawning system in smaller maps is going to be different. They're going to spawn next to you. They're going to spawn in front of you. You're going to spawn in front of them. So you need to watch out for that. Now the reason why I kind of stay in one general area. As you notice I'm never on the other side of the boat. Is because the opponents. They they know where you're at. They, they know you're going to be there. So they're going to keep coming to you. They're going to keep coming to you. They're going to want to kill you. And that's the mistake they're making. And that's something you don't want to make. You don't want to make that mistake. Because then you're just going to keep dying. And you're just going to keep getting killed. And your KDR is going to drop. 
Now, in this game, I don't think I've, I did too bad. But I, I didn't do too good. But after all, this is my first game. One of my first games. Now that red laser, you guys just saw the attack insert. I was like, what is that? I thought it was a mine or something. So I just left it alone. I had no idea. You know, I'm playing this as a noob right now. So, I mean, UAV is one of the best kill streaks that I like to use just because I like to see the map in hardcore and I just like to see what's going on now we did get defeated but as you can see my KDR is above 2.0 is that is that good I mean yes I do think that's that's decent average players KDRs are in range from 1.1 to maybe a 0 0.80 if you look at the lobbies thank you guys for watching this this is episode one of many so if you guys like this please don't forget to subscribe to me like this video if you liked it and see you guys next time